Oh my God, the Judgment Day are tag team champions again with help from Lil Morgan tricking our truth into giving him a tag team title match, then turning on him in the match to help Balor and JD McDonough win and get the tag team titles. They even celebrated to end the show with Lil Morgan, bro. Lil was officially part of the Judgment Day. She was gaming in the room with um, Finn Balor. Hugged up on Dom when Braun Strowman came out to attack Judgment Day. And now she just helped them win the tag team titles is over with. Priest and Rhea need to count their days. Liv is finna boot all of them out the group. Liv just got them the tag team titles back. My only issue with this is that JD McDonald is a tag team champion. It should have been Dominic Mysterio in this position. It should have been Balor and Dom that win the tag team titles. Like JD McDonough is a is a main roster champion before Dominic Mysterio. How does that even work, bro? Liv and Dom are literally carrying Raw. You know what I'm saying? JD McDonough? JD McDonough. JD McFreaking Donough is a champion before Dominic Mysterio. That's the only thing I don't like. I feel like it would have been way better if this was Balor and Dumb. I understand Balor and JD is tra trainer and uh, student, um, teacher and student with them winning it, but it should have been Dominic winning this title. He deserves it, bro. But all in all, this was a great show. It opened up with Michael Cole and The Miz. The Miz did commentary for half the show. And Michael Cole, the greatness, give this man his flowers. He did half the show solo, bro. Half of Monday Night Raw he did on commentary by himself. This man may be the GOAT commentator up to this point. But I don't know why Pac Megafine wasn't on commentary. They was in Indianapolis and everything. I don't know why he didn't show up or what he had going, but... Michael Cole did his job, and Miz was great. Drew McIntyre came out bragging about stealing CM Punk's bracelet with AJ Lee and his dog's name on it, bragging about beating him down and saying he's going to win that Money in the Bank briefcase, cash in on Damian Priest that same night and become World Heavyweight Champion again. So Drew is back after quitting for four days. <laughs> he's already back on TV, and he's in a Money in the Bank triple threat match against Sheamus and Ilya Dragnow, which is going to be a banger next week. Braun Breaker is going against Sami Zayn for the IC title. He went to Adam Pearce's office saying he tired of people interfering in his match. He had a match with Ludwig. Looked like he was finna win. And Sheamus came out in a fear. Honestly, I thought it was going to be a fatal four-way money in the bank. Because maybe they could have protected Braun and had Sammy retain. But if it's just Sammy versus Braun, I'm sorry, Sammy. But it's Braun Breaker's time. Chad Gable returned for being murdered by Dwyer Six. And he won his triple threat match to qualify for the money in the bank after that. Nikki Cross, Abby the Witch came out. Scared Chad Gable off. Gave Michael Cole the president. And it was a tape to record. Later on in the show, they showed a tape, and it is Bo Dallas talking to Uncle Howdy. So it feels like it's finna be a brain the fiend thing where Uncle Howdy is finna be the alternate ego of, of Bo Dallas. They're talking about Bray Delph, how Bo wants them to remember him and his brother and stuff like that, how he feel, how he was hurt, and how he's ready to change WWE and stuff. So this was a great moment right here. Absolute fucking cinema. I was not expecting it to be like this. I thought we'd just see Uncle Howdy. I did not think we'll see Bo Dallas, but this was freaking amazing. This was the moment of the night. The story between them is just getting better and better after two weeks. Secu they had extra security, and they just got fucking killed off one by one. And then, yeah, also Lyra won her Money in the Bank qualifying match. All in all, this was another banger Raw, bro. Raw has been hitting for, like, the past three, four weeks in a row. It's just nothing but banger after banger. I give this show a 9.5 out of 10. Let me know what you think of it in the comments below. Like, comment, subscribe. Stay tuned for much more, and I'm out. Peace.